The Gulf Cooperation Council, which covers Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Kuwait, Oman and Bahrain, is a magnet for engineering talent. With oil wealth and ambitious infrastructure plans, the region has attracted professionals from across the globe. But what's it really like working as an engineer in the GCC? In this video, we'll break down salary, lifestyle and the evolving challenges in this region. Starting with compensation, engineering salaries in the GCC are highly competitive, especially when you factor in the tax-free income most countries in the region offer, with packages sometimes including housing, transport, medical insurance and airfare allowances. In Saudi Arabia, engineers working on mega projects like NEOM or the Red Sea Development Projects can negotiate even higher salaries, often with relocation bonuses and family accommodation. These benefits can significantly improve overall quality of life, especially for expatriates relocating from countries with higher tax burdens. Life in the GCC varies by country and city, but engineers can enjoy access to world-class infrastructure and a safe environment for themselves and their families. English is widely spoken across the GCC in both professional and social settings, and the standard of living is high. However, it's worth considering that life in the Gulf has its own cultural and social considerations. Work weeks can run Sunday through Thursday outside of the UAE, and depending on your employer, overtime and project-based demands can be intense. In some GCC countries, the social norms differ, and adjustments are taking place to create a more inclusive space for foreign professionals. For example, Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 initiative is driving changes in public space access, tourism and even entertainment, aiming to improve expat retention while reaching sustainability goals. The pace and scale of development in the Gulf can be both thrilling and demanding. Many engineers are brought into work on projects that wouldn't be possible in other parts of the world due to budget or logistical constraints. Expect to work on record-breaking skyscrapers, artificial islands and billion-dollar transport hubs. Engineers face expectations related to project timelines, climatic extremes and resource coordination. In summer, working temperatures can exceed 45 degrees Celsius, so shifts take place overnight or in strictly regulated hours. Material selection and HVAC design must account for extreme heat and dust in many places, placing high demands on structural and environmental engineering. There's also a multicultural work environment. Engineering teams in the Gulf are often made up of professionals from many different nationalities. While this diversity is a strength, it can lead to communication challenges and differences in work culture. Engineers need to bring technical skills, cultural agility and strong project coordination capabilities. The Gulf region presents a wealth of opportunities, although the pace and nature of advancement can vary depending on the sector and employer. Many engineers have fixed term contracts, which often serve as valuable stepping stones towards broader management or regional leadership roles. While long-term development pathways may differ, the scale and visibility of the projects across the GCC significantly enhance any CV. It's an exciting region to be part of, with high pay, world-leading infrastructure and ongoing reform. At NES Faircroft, we partner with engineers at every career stage to navigate the complexities of the global job market. Head to nesfaircroft.com to unlock the future of your professional journey and see where your engineering career will take you. For more engineering content and career advice, subscribe to our channel, like this video and follow us on LinkedIn at NES Faircroft. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.